Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I see it here, red clay detailing. And I'm doing a little water spot remover on this, I forget what year, Chevy Malibu. And this is on the whole car. And I think the guy used to take it through the car wash. And so the car wash would leave spots on the car. Um, but also you can get water spots from well water, high mineral content in the water. Acid rain, there are different ways you can get water spots on the car. But to remove it, you can polish the car. And fortunately for this one, they're light. There's some areas that are a little heavy, like in, in, because it's getting more direct sunlight, the hood, the roof. So that's a little bit more effort. They're a little harder to remove. Uh, but instead of me polishing the car, I'm actually using a water spot remover. And it's just a chemical that in its acidic in its makeup so essentially an acid to remove the um, water spots and you can't see it they're very hard to see but like I've done this area but then there's water spots here and the Sun is high in the sky so that's making it even worse but uh, but this has been done and then there's like just little tiny dots. So essentially what I'm doing is working on a small section and working it in. And I can actually see the spots disappearing as I'm wiping. And I can feel the texture change also as I'm rubbing across the paint so it gets smoother. As, I, as I'm rubbing, rubbing the, rubbing across the paint. So basically this is just a wet towel, it's water. And my phone is ringing, so hold on. So I worked this area, so I'm gonna move over to another section. And basically, like I said, just put you a little dab. Don't leave much, just two or three dots. And you want to try to keep the paint cool like on the top. I have no choice but to work under the heat. I don't have a tent. So in that case, I just work a very small area. Just just work it because you'll see the, the, this is the heat coming up off the, uh, the steam coming up off the surface. So you just kind of figure out what works. Being that the surface is cool, it's easier for me to release the water spot. If the surface is hot, it's gonna, you gotta work fast and small, fall, small and fast somewhat because you don't want the water spot remover to dry on the paint. So that could cause you problems. Carry you right there. And I've done the other side of this car and I didn't take a picture of it. And it looks like I polished the car. That's how much the paint improved just by removing water spots. It actually brightened the paint. And the owner came out here earlier and he was beside himself, to say the least. He liked it so far. Uh, so yeah, just work the area. Square, so just go over it. You can work circles. You don't have to press hard, let the product do the, do the work. You just want to keep working it. And wipe your space. And some companies they recommend rinsing the paint to have something where you can neutralize the acid the uh, some people spray um, like a wheel cleaner non acid wheel cleaner because it's alkaline to neutralize the area so you want to uh, all-purpose cleaner excuse me uh, you can use all-purpose cleaner and uh, spray on the, the surface to neutralize the acid so you want to neutralize you want to make the acid where it's not working anymore so essentially uh, that's it 
clean the um, water spots off, no polishing involved. Uh, that way you're not removing clear coat. It's a safe way to do it uh, if done properly. Thanks. And uh, check out some of the other videos. And if you got any questions, leave them in the comments.